Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Saturday, um, June the 13th of 2015. And we're back with the Compaq Armada 1575 DMT. Very, very wonderful little laptop. Um, if you want more information on the laptop itself, um, just check out the video um, before the one you're watching right now. And you can learn all there is to know about this particular computer. But anyway, um, Tonight we're going to be discussing a um, a situation that I've always had with older laptops. Um, actually, just older laptops that run Windows 95, that is. Because Windows 98 is really not a problem, as I will um, go into detail on in a little bit. Game port, game pads, and joysticks. They were commonplace for computers in the mid-90s and before that as well um, with controllers and joysticks such as the um, Microsoft 3D Pro and the Gravis Gamepad Pro both of which use the game connection which I will um, show you right now this is what a game port looks like or a game connection looks like or sometimes are known as a MIDI connection and these are very very good they work very very well um, however desktops were the only computers back then to have um, been included with a joystick port or a game port whatever you want to call it <laughs> They were typically found on um, the back of sound cards. Um, so, laptops like this one were unfortunately left out from using, from having the ability to use a joystick or a gamepad. However, once USB came to um, fruition in the late 90s, um, a joystick such as this one that uses USB could work just fine. Um, Windows 98 supports most um, joysticks and game pads, in fact, including a lot of modern ones as well. I'm not sure about Xbox 360, but I do know there's a special driver for that that someone made. And um, I'll, unfortunately, if your computer is running Windows 95 with USB support and with the required USB port, you're still not going to get far of a USB joystick, unfortunately. Um, there's The drivers just absolutely do not exist. So once again, that pretty much leaves you in the dark when it comes to using a joystick or a gamepad on an old computer like this with no USB port and no Windows 98, where instead you're running Windows 95 like I am because, well, the system was designed for Windows 95 and Windows 98 is just a little too new for this. So, that kind of leaves you in a predicament. Let's say you have one of these, but you want to use a joystick or a gamepad. Well, you would think that you would be out of luck. Well, you're mistaken. Because last week, a friend of mine pointed me into the direction of this on eBay. The Basics by New Media Corporation joystick game port adapter which plugs into your um, laptop's PC MCIA slot see right here and on the back here you, you get your standard joystick adapter plug I know I keep calling it many different things but <laughs> just bear with me and with the proper drivers which are available online particularly driverguide.com or whatever it's called you can install this and use it perfectly well on Windows 95. And um, these are available on eBay in lots of three. Um, I got three of them for $15. I wasn't expecting to get three of them, but oh well. <laughs> There's one, two, and three. <laughs> I believe this is the one I've been using right here in the middle. So we will um, use that. So what we do is um, we, here's the back of it by the way, this was made in 1996 
And these, these are wonderful little devices, I have to say. What you do is you just slide it into one of your PCMCI slots. And that's it loaded up now. I already have it installed on here. I already know it works. And then you got to connect your joystick or um, gamepad. We'll take my Gravis Gamepad Pro because it's a little bit more laptop friendly. And we will connect it into the adapter right over here. And I won't bother screwing it in. So, there we are. Now let's set the tripod up and demonstrate how this work how this works in actual games. Okay, um got the tripod up here. Here's the um gamepad once again. First of all, um one thing I forgot to show a while ago is the um device manager. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but um we'll go into sound, video, and game controllers. You can see we have a basics game port in here, which it says the device is working properly. Again, I did have to install a special driver for it, but um, after doing that, it works just perfectly fine. So, um, let's demonstrate how this works with what I consider to be the greatest computer game ever created in the history of anything. The original Earthworm Jim Special Edition. Same copy I've had since 1996. And I've been in love with it since 1996, so we'll pop it into the compact CD drive. Get that stupid cord out of the way of the CD-ROM. And this is, this is a game where you pretty much need a joystick or gamepad to play with because even though you can use the keyboard in this game, I highly do not recommend doing that. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Sometimes it doesn't take... Okay, maybe it will go now. Ah, uh, here we go. Activision. They published the um, Windows 95 port of this game. And I can tell you it's already working because I've been skipping these menus with the controller. Let's see if I can show the controller in action. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's working perfectly well. If I remember to, I'll put a link in the description to the um, eBay listing where you can buy um, this particular adapter. Because if you have a a laptop running Windows 95 and you and you're like me and require the need of a joystick or gamepad for um, games like this then well this is exactly what you need. Again, don't know how well this is coming out on camera.
that's not nice. Right, my hands were getting tired. <laughs> my arms were more specifically. some energy there. Yeah, I was so happy to see this actually work. I was a little skeptical when I first bought it. This is something I've been wanting to do with laptops for a long time, especially, um, you know, since I knew I was getting this um, compact armada at the time. I wanted to really make this something special. This particular computer, that is. There we go. All right, let's hit. Let's try a different game. Another um, childhood favorite of mine that also. Um, plays best with a joystick and or gamepad. Little game known as Firefight. You may recall seeing this game during my nostalgic Christmas series this past year. And if you don't remember it, maybe this will give you um, a little bit of memory back. It's the Forecaster! It's the Forecaster! <laughs> Not sure if we'll actually show the forecaster in this particular video. I just want to show this actually working. Again, this is a game that no one really seems to talk about. It's very, very underrated in my opinion, but it's really, really, really good. Good, good little space shooter. Well, not really a space shooter, but... Mm, Kind of like one. <laughs> Electronic Arts, Epic Mega Game, Chaos Works, Firefight. Yeah, it's already working in this one. We'll just start from the beginning with the first level. And turn the sound down just a tad. I prefer using game pads with laptops because it feels more portable that way. Slug again. That snail, whatever you want to call it. You have found a secret place. You're a secret place. Oh, a, this, this is a, such a good game. <laughs> This is actually my dad's favorite computer game ever. He used to play this um, all night on the original Packer Bell Legend 822 CDT back in the day. He was obsessed with this game. Good reason, too. It's a good game. I'm showing the controller here again. Unlock another secret place by blowing those up. Running low on energy. It's like this calls for cheating.
Yes, I know it's not ethical, but I'm in a hurry. And plus, the cool part is, when you're cheating like this, you can actually ram into the into the enemies and blow them up. Watch. <laughs> Oh, sadism. Go away, you missiles. You're not wanted here. Okay, now this thing that's coming up is kind of scary. I call it the shark ship. Your entire air and ground events being destroyed. And we'll just land here and level is complete. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Great way to play games like this on a laptop of this era. Like I said, if you're running Windows 98 and you have a USB um, port on it, you can easily use just about any USB game controller. However, if you're running Windows 95, um, you're going to run into a few snags, so that's where this little boy comes in. So I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, now, um, I forgot to mention about um, running this with DOS. I have never tried it before, but from what I understand, um, it's not possible because the driver for this is for Windows 95 only, and if you even if you boot into Windows 95's DOS mode, unfortunately, it's just not going to go. But there aren't too many games in DOS that I play that need a game controller anyway, so it's no big deal for me. But yeah, um, again, folks, this this was the basics um joystick adapter game port which um is a very very nice thing to have on a laptop like this and it works really really well and um haven't tried it yet but i also believe it will work in my toshiba libretto 50 ct it fits in it so it, i guess it should work <laughs> i just haven't officially tried it on there before but i'm sure it will but um, this is Billy Core signing off on June the 13th of 2015. Good night, everybody.